Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. Don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It is my opinion and my opinion only. Baby, Olivia then went and boot scoot and boogied her way back to Texas just to cause havoc in somebody else's life. Oh, we don't talk about her much over here, but I still go over and look and see how she's doing from time to time. But to me, she is totally canceled because once again, I'll repeat, like I say in every video I do on her. If it was a father out here on the YouTube streets that was deadbeat, that lost custody of their children and had no, you know, shelter and was getting evicted every five minutes, cars repo every five minutes and continuing to make more babies, we would drag him all over YouTube up and down the streets and talk about him. So guess what? Olivia is the same in my eyes as a deadbeat daddy. She's just a deadbeat mama. So we only check in with her because we don't want to send her over no clout. We all know when reaction people talk about you that it does send uh, subs their way. Whether it is negative or whether it's positive. Somebody will go over there and take a look and your numbers will go up. But in this case, I wanted to uh, report on Olivia for one second because her children, right? Like I said... I look at Gerard's Instagram all the time. I see that the kids are winning championships. They're playing football. They're dancing. They're cheerleading. They're having a good time. They're living their life. They're building a family rapport. They're having dinners. They're laughing. They're giggling. Their hair is growing. Their skin is glowing. Ooh, baby, they having a good time. Then guess what? Up, uh, uh, uh. Here comes some saying old slop mop, and she shows back up to Texas. Baby, if y'all thought she was there for those kids, then y'all thought wrong. Olivia is back in Texas just like she did before. See, if y'all watch her, then y'all will know. This ain't the first time she moved to Texas, stayed a few months, moved back to Florida. See, the last time she moved to Texas, it was because she was being evicted from her Florida apartment. And so she thought to herself, well, might as well pack everything up, move cross country, look like I'm doing something, give myself some content, something to talk about. And that's what she's done this time. I mean, I don't know if Fifi is investigating, but I'm pretty sure she done got evicted from where she was living in Florida. She done got the toot. She done got the boot. So when she does that, oh, let me go to Texas for about six months. Let me try and stack my money up. Let me live there free, not pay rent and cause havoc in Gerard and Nisha's life. Baby, this is what I can't stand about her. Don't just go somewhere and pop up and make it look like you're trying to do something and then disappear on your kids. This is a pattern. So I guess my question is, how long is she going to be in Texas this time? I personally don't give it till the summer hit, the sun gets to shining, and she's going to be right back out of there smoking on the first U-Haul that she can get going, okay? Once she drops this so-called baby that she's pregnant with this time, she's going to run. And this is one thing that also I'm so confused about because all year long we've been hearing about my baby daddy this, my baby daddy that. He black ops, he army, he this, he that. He married, he lied, he's this, he's that. But girl, you said your baby daddy lived in Florida. I'm almost pretty sure that Olivia got knocked up if she is knocked up allegedly uh, back in Texas, right? She got When she went down there to do her little visiting and stuff, that's why she got knocked up at. She met somebody on POF and she done went back mainly to try and get some child support and get things established there so she can pop this load off just like, you know, a dog in heat when they have a baby. They uh, keep them good for about a good six, seven weeks and then they go and dump them off somewhere else. Baby, she ain't no different. But see, this this is the thing. You're making an emotional toll and you're making an emotional railroad track every time you go back and forth, back and forth. These kids get excited to see her, rightfully so, because that's their mother. That's what they've known most of their life. That is, you know, their biological mom. They have a bond. They lived in her. They were grown by her. But then as soon as she walks away, it's devastation. We know that Gerard has to put him in counseling. He has to pull him back to being what I call normal happy kids, okay? And see, Olivia doesn't care about that. She knows that as long as she's there, she can cause a stink. But baby, you've been so-called living in Texas for a long time, secretly, but we ain't seen you at no games, no uh, cheerleading, no dance recitals. We ain't seen you doing no vlogs where you dropping them off at practice or where you putting any money down on practice. We ain't seen that you uh, went from rearages of owing child support to back into the positive. You still owe that man thousands of dollars. Girl, who? Well, I tell you, we could go on and on about this old sour mouth slop pop, but I'm not going to because she don't deserve it. But I'm just saying, stay away from the kids rather than keep going in and out their life because, girl, you ain't causing nothing but havoc and you ain't causing nothing but trauma and you ain't causing nothing but irritation.
Tation. Y'all, I will see y'all in the comments.